gang, how y'all feeling? We back, we back, Charleston White. Uh, this would be like what? This would probably be like my third part of the Charleston White uh, interview. I want to get it either done by tomorrow or Friday. I feel like it's going to be Friday, though. If I if I get done with it by Saturday, I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? But how you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? You getting money? You feel me? You ain't missing a meal? Be grateful, nigga. You feel me? Um, I don't even want to do too much talking today. I just want to get into it and see what's to it. I forgot what we left off. I think something about Woody and Karma. Um, I forgot what Sean was finna ask him next before I cut it off. Um, I, it's funny because when you got out of jail yesterday, you was flexing all this money, which you got right next I to I just you. left the bank again. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Gave, they gave me a bag yesterday. I went and got some more just to do that. I just, I just want to do it. And I'm getting my... I, so what I did, I went and got $9,000 out the bank. I went and gave my mama two or 3000 I bought a house for my wife while I was in jail. I had my manager. I had my manager nah. come get my debit card and go into my bank account. No, bro. Jail. I had. I went and gave my mama two or three thousand. I bought a house for my wife while I was in jail. I had my. Folks say he bought a house behind them bars. It's crazy. My manager. I had my manager come get my debit card and go into my bank account. I had him come get my phone, not my debit card. My mama had my my car. My wife had my car. So I had my manager come get my phone with my banking information on it. My wife had closed on a house for her and my daughter. Uh, so I wanted to put the money up, but I was in jail. So I had my, so they thinking they gonna have to wait on me. So nigga, I had my manager come down there and get my phone, nigga, and have him go into my bank account and transfer the money into my wife's account while I was in jail. So I can surprise on that money so her and my daughter can still get the keys to the house. So well, nigga, I'm, I'm making boss up. moves in there. Nigga, I'm still a boss now. <laughs> I still got to handle business. Yeah, I still got to handle business. Uh, were you a driver for Amazon Flex? How close you got to be with your manager to allow something like that to happen, bro? Like, I would have thought he would have said, like, Dewberry or something like that to, to do that. Or just just take the phone. I don't know. I don't know. To just get your phone. But I don't know who his manager is. It probably is, like, a close friend. But still, I just want to know how close to do. Somebody got to be to you. But you be like, all right, come get this. And send this money, this X amount of money to my wife, bro. Cause you can't wait. Or you don't even know how long you're gonna be in that bitch for real. Cause because because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, on site, no, not on site, because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, and Complex reported inaccurate information about my arrest. They reported false, inaccurate information about my arrest. I lost a comedy show that cost me about $25,000. Cause Complex reported that these was new charges. Yeah, because you, Sean. So Complex yeah. said these are eerily <laughs> similar to the charges of last year. So when the venue saw that, they pulled my comedy show. Because they said, oh, man, but these are old charges. But because y'all posted as if they new charges, yeah, my comedy venue pulled my for yeah, yeah, yeah. I was booked like a motherfucker. We're on his bread, Sean. If this was Monique, Monique would have been like, nigga. I won't, you done put dirt on my name, nigga. I need that money back. Damn. Lost me 25K. So the lawyer's name is sending the cease and desist letter. I told him, take Say Cheese TV off the list. You had one That's coming real. too, that nigga. That's why I called you as soon as I got out. You had one coming. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I had my lips stuck out like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's real. Uh, but nah, your fans say that you used to make fun of rappers for flexing money and jewelry. Now you doing the same thing. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> I keep telling y'all I'm playing online. They thought I was serious. People really thought I had a problem with rappers. Nigga, that was all. Nigga, I ain't, nigga. Hey, that's so funny because, because just imagine you want, you want to make a point to a nigga and nigga tell you so. Fuck, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, this nigga don't give a damn, bro. <laughs> I have a problem with rappers and I listen to rap. Oh, my I God. I have a problem bro. with rappers talking about killing people. Black people. I don't give a damn about no rapper flexing money. But I use it for content like I do. 
and I was broke then. See, they talking about the broke Charles. Man, I ain't broke no more, man. When you broke, you do all kind of shit you don't understand you do. I ain't broke no more, my nigga. So yeah, I'm living like, I just bought me some red bottle, my nigga. I'm living like the Ralph. You ain't never oh, seen me. I got sell. I got some, I got two pair of Gucci shoes. I got the But black. just go get some mics or something then, bro. You was talking bad on my, I never wear my Jordan to the shoes. Go get you some mics, bro. Get you some foes or some shit, bro. Black low top Gucci's, the high top Gucci's, the other Gucci's. I got the, nigga, I don't want to got these bad ass red bottom right here. Nigga can't tell. Nigga, I'm living man, like a rapper. Nigga, hell man, yeah. You talk, man, you talk so much shit about designer, man, two, three I years got, ago. Because I, I, I couldn't afford it. You remember I told you how I was toward the hoverboard? I used to hate a hoverboard <laughs> motherfucker till I could buy one. <laughs> Boy, but I couldn't buy a hoverboard. I hated anything about a hoverboard. Nigga, oh commercial, God, anything. Bro. Daddy, why, why is your damn near want to whoop the kid ask me about a motherfucking hoverboard? I, soon as I could buy one, I bought four of them. So no, 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 my nigga, I, uh, I was just talking broke. Man, don't, don't stupid, pay a broke bro. motherfucker no mind. I was broke, y'all. I ain't broke no more. Uh, um, you, you recently went viral for, uh, you was with Aiden Ross were on his stream, and you shut a girl down from Canada who was repeatedly, repeatedly saying the N-word. She thought she was nigga. Yeah, she was talking like she was real nigga. I, hey, I'm, what you mean nigga? She talking like it's niggas in Canada. See, motherfucker don't know, homie, nigga only apply to America. Niggas have never existed in Africa. Niggas have never existed nowhere but on American soil. Most real niggas don't leave American soil. They don't even leave their neighborhoods, nigga let alone leave out the country. What would an American nigga do outside the country? Those are black Americans that have a desire to leave. Most niggas just want to be left alone. They don't have no vision to leave and travel the motherfucking world because they know they're going to get mistreated anywhere they go because they niggas. So yeah, I had to shit because you can be white and be nigga by way of mindset. But you can't get with niggas and play like you nigga. You got an honorary nigga degree. So nigga is inclusive. But man, nigga, when we go to talking birth and bloodline, they go to exclude some shit. So yeah, now, nah, homie, uh, I started getting offended by her because she was my nigga this, our nigga this, and she... Motherfucker don't be getting it. Like, have, they don't be can't, not even just talking about Canadian, just other races that do still do it because of the, like he said, you got the mindset. Let's just say you probably grew up in the hood and shit. They don't be giving a damn about who, how that shit would affect another black motherfucker. Like, bro, I don't want to be hearing you say that shit. Just don't say that shit around me, bro. God damn. Nigga, nigga, nigga. But what I know, when she go sit down with her grandma and her family, she can't play nigga. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm sensitive about the nigga. And for us to be at, and you said a lot, you said that us, us as black people, we're at the bottom of the, at, of the totem pole in America. You said we're under Mexicans, we're under whites, we're under Asians, we're, we're at the bottom, bottom. We don't know how to but, do nothing. So, but why does everybody want to be a nigga when we're at the bottom? Uh, they play nigga. They don't want to be nigga. They want to play nigga. It's cool to be nigga. Play nigga. It's, it's cool. Uh, that's only when you're bullshitting. But when they get serious in life, they don't want to play nigga. Most of them kids, when they start getting serious about life, they don't want to play nigga. They only play nigga at 19, 17, 20. They grow out of playing nigga by the time they 25. Paris Hilton them did it. Uh, Nicole Richie them did it. The Kardashian did it. Everybody want to play nigga. It's fun playing nigga. Because playing nigga is all about having fun. Fucking, having fun, getting high, no responsibility, being irresponsible, throwing money. It's, 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 it's no... I feel them though. I feel them. Motherfucker be wanting to just play that role, but they don't want to play that bitch to the T. You don't want to play outside the fun shit. Like, for example, bro, me growing up, I used to want to go over certain people's houses, like certain family member houses, who goddamn could just do what they want to do type shit. But, like, the other shit outside the what they get to do type shit, like the responsibilities around that bitch and how they probably lived around that bitch, I didn't want to deal with that shit, bro. I want to go back home for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got good, good shit at home. I'm comfortable at home and shit here. 
no. But the fun shit, I'm with all the fun shit. But the real shit, I catch y'all next week. Yeah. It's no responsible requirements to be a nigga. We some of the most irresponsible people. Uh, we don't save money, so it's fun when you're young to play nigga. But when you start to know better, you start to do better, and then you don't want to be no more. Black people want to stay. We want to stay playing, and we don't know how to not go somewhere else and not play. That's why I call myself. I know how to play on whatever stage you put me on. Just put me on stage. I know how to. You put me around white people. I know how to play. You put me on any. I know how to play. Most niggas don't know how to play. I know how to play any role I need to play, my nigga, as a black man. Uh, I didn't start out playing, nigga. I started out playing uh, a well-spoken black man. A black community. So, nigga, I, had, I evolved into playing nigga. And it seemed like I done got stuck playing nigga. Mm. Yeah, I like, I like, when I seen that go viral, that shit was going viral for a minute, man. I she was mad. She tried to call herself being mad and shit. Like how you <laughs> how you gonna be mad at that? Well, one of one of the questions I asked her, when last time she gave a nigga some pussy? She couldn't tell me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bro. when last time you I ain't even see that clip, bro. Gave, since you so nigga, when last time you didn't give a nigga some of that pussy? And she couldn't say. That's how you know you nigga. One thing about your nigga, nigga go get that nigga. Yeah, mo, yeah one thing about nigga, they go do some, some of that. FBG Duck's mom is suing Lil Durk. Um, she's suing the label. She's suing King Von's estate, I think. Um, but yeah, she, she says that Dirk and the label is profiting off of, of Dirk's, uh, off Duck's death. Oh, uh, I wish somebody, I wish somebody do that for Tuka's mother. Uh, I've been trying to, I've been, man, Tuka mama need that, homie. Y'all think she gonna win, bro? I don't think she gonna win nothing. Like, I don't know why, I just, but I don't know, like, the like this shit might be a, a, a lesson. If we she walk out that bitch winning, what? You think Tuka Mama probably ain't gonna come up? Goddamn, Keith finna be the first motherfucker on the list. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, I just think it ain't gonna play her favor type shit, bro. Especially... Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know the laws how that shit work. That's why I said this might teach us something if we like keep up with this shit, bro. Because nobody profited more off man Tuka Mama, my nigga. I, 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 I man, Mama Duck still. I still fuck with Mama Duck. I, I talked to her not too long ago. Me and her go come do a say cheese TV interview. But nigga, why Tuka? Tuka Mama need that. Nobody has profited more that Tuka name, homie. It's in songs. The, the the labels, the music industry, nigga, everybody was responsible, homie, for 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 monetizing that baby's name Tuka. Until this day, his mama ain't got one dollar. Man, somebody go get a lawyer for. Her. Do it, Charles. Nigga, I've been trying, but nigga, I can't no. find no strong. <laughs> uh, okay, he gonna respond to me and shit. What's up? <laughs> lawyer that a man. Damn. Nigga, I've been trying, but nigga, I can't find no strong lawyer that a. Man, man, I man. Uh, but but yeah, man, salute to Mama Duck. But man, Tuka Mama need that same thing, homie, because they have profit uh, uh, enough, homie, uh, off the name Tuka. Yeah, um, but Duck, Duck, he would diss people too when when Duck wasn't the same. Uh, Duck wasn't the same. Uh, Duck was a killer too, wasn't he? I don't know if he ever killed anybody, but he definitely dissed people when they died. Uh, man, uh. I don't know myself personally either, but every time I hear about Doug, bro, don't nobody never say folks got no body under him, but he had beat the shit out of some motherfuckers, though. Like, he done put he done put hands and feet on niggas before. But I, every time I hear, they be like, folks wasn't really a killer. He wasn't on that type of time. I don't think he profited off of it, did he? Like, the record label profited off his nah. death and Tuka's death. They commercialized mm -hmm. those kids' death, homie. It's just like they commercialized the deaths of gangbangers during the 80s and the 90s. They made it profitable for, for people who was associated with red and blue. They commercialized that and profit off the death. I made over six figures trading. With but that's that was my thing too. Like, what I'm pretty sure, like, let's just say, for example, Dirk Lawyer gonna bring that up. Like, da 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 da. Especially, especially that Dirk got the song where. 
he speak on actual duck for like the first time. All that other shit be sneak dissing. But folks that I get high as duck shit, that's the one, bro. But yeah, Tuka Mama, like, that's probably what that is history. You can't even give me somebody else who profited off somebody named like that, bro. So, uh, homie, they were just kids. And, and the industry knew that. And, and I always wondered how one side profited more than the other side. I always wondered that. And so, yeah, how many white people made a lot of money? Uh, if I was Tuka's mother, I would go after Chief Keith. I would go after all of them. Oh, my soul, he first. Y'all sure you go after Chief Keith. <laughs> if I was Tuka's mother, I would go after Chicago. Oh, yeah. I, I would go after the Chicago radio stations. Uh, hey, the city don't the city don't do it no more though. I heard for the first time not too long ago. I'm listening to uh to the radio. I think DJ Ferris is on. Like I said, he was playing I, in one of the other these other videos that I react to. I said like, damn, DJ Ferris played like 30 fucking Dirk songs back to back and back and shit. And one had Vaughn on it. And they blurred out Tuka. And I'm like, oh damn. You know what I'm saying? So now it's it's at that point where they did it. But I'm with him though. Like she needs to get on on that shit if if she can, bro. But Chief Keep first. That's why I say I wish he would have just let's just say she do it. I think it could just been avoided if he just manned up and, and and said like, you know, this shit. This shit wasn't right, and just them being in a picture together would be fucking legendary. I'm going to keep saying that shit, bro. I would go after the labels. Uh, I'm sure, homie, that woman, that woman deserves some reparations for the use of her son's name uh, in, 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 in this. Yep. Chief Keith, he uh, he dissed Tuka a lot when he, when he first came out. Yeah. I, I would go after him if I were her. Well. Yeah. Um, cause all these people are getting rich and she's still in Chicago, still in the trenches. Uh, still being the mother she was before she lost her son. Yep. And she ain't trying to be seen and she, yeah, how much she, uh, facts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call her when we done. Yeah. 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 Every so often I reach, just let her know. Yeah. What you need. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yeah. Man, you and Big Meech got out on the same day. Yeah, yeah, felt good. And I be in Detroit Friday. Y'all be in Detroit Friday. Y'all be in Detroit tomorrow. Yeah, got out on the same day. Um, yeah, they trying to lock me in. Yeah, they trying to get me and Big Meech to lock in. And I'm, I fuck with him. Yeah, I like, I think Meech one of the coldest niggas in, coldest niggas in American history. Uh, the game mm. he took outside of Detroit, nigga, he went and put it down in 50 states throughout the United States. And his game wasn't no killing game. He had the strong nigga outside. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a money getting game, nigga. The Crippin' Blood niggas didn't have no money getting game. They were just killing. Uh, the GDs and the BDs, they wasn't no money getting nigga. Meach come with a money game, homie. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga, he one of the greatest niggas to live, nigga, in, in American history, in my eye. G, if y'all see BMF, cause I, I don't really know nothing about Meach. I don't. He don't really like. I know his name and shit. No love shit about it. But anyway, BMF, right? If he was anything like that, for real, for real, like just that ambitious, bro, and that much of a hustler, go get up, positive, believed in this shit, can talk his way out of shit, bro. I always say this nigga could have sold anything, bro, but he decided to sell drugs. Like he could have sold bundles, bro, to the hoes and just got rich. Like he, the, the man's a great salesman, a great businessman. However you want to do it, bro. He could have just did anything, but it, he chose the illegal, the illegal route, bro. But that shit, we legal now, bro. I don't know what you, I don't know exactly what he can and can't do, but shit, you can get that shit legal like uh, the real Rick Ross and shit. His mind, I respect his mind. Yeah, he turned up a lot of people, man. A lot of money was made. Um, and that, and I, I don't even think they- states with that BMF, homie. Yeah, I don't even think they found nothing on him. Like physically on him, no nah, drugs or anything. His, his brother, what they caught two million in that house out here in Frisco. Uh, yeah, mm. he, yeah, yeah. He used to live next door to my nigga Willie. Uh, and, and yeah, yeah. Willie and them just knew him as Demetrius. They didn't even know he was Big Meech. Uh, they just knew him as Demetrius. They all stayed in Frisco when he got caught. Uh, his brother was doing all the talking. His brother was a nigga that got yeah got them caught up. Nigga Meech was a hell of man. Meech a motherfucker, my nigga. Yeah, one of the smoothest players, nigga, that put down game, my nigga, nigga, in, in the history of black people in this country, my nigga. Uh, BMF, Black Mafia Family. That's the first black mafia we know of outside of Bumpy Johnson, them. 
so yeah um man i did an interview with yayo did hey guys just visiting your property but uh, like i said bro i'm since i'm from the city i'm more on like the larry hoover shit like when folks get out type shit you know yeah man i i thought it was a good interview oh uh, but yayo ain't learned nothing he going back to jail yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh, uh, but yeah, yo. yeah, yo did did pretty I, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, man, I, I I thought it was a good interview. Oh, uh, but yeah, yo ain't learned nothing. He going back to jail. Yeah, mm. yeah, I'm glad I didn't sit down with that nigga. Uh, he ain't elevated, homie. It's like he angry and bitter about something, and, and I think that comes from losing his position, and, and watching other people feel like him watching other people elevate to a level where he should be, just in the social media world. Uh, he's too angry. He's too aggressive. Homie, he's coming off uh, resentful. And I'm saying, man, play a little nigga. And, 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 and he getting big at the belly and the hips. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man. Uh, nah, man. Man, that nigga too talented, my nigga. It, it's like, it's like, nigga, he want to pull more into his street persona, his street image, his street resume. Nigga then tap into the gifts and the skills that God gave him to entertain and rap and do music. So he want to be known as a real street nigga, homie, rather than a great rapper. So that's where he losing it. I sat back and I watched it, homie. I've been watching him online. Uh, I damn near called you yesterday and said, say, homie, give me, give me homie number so I can call and just rap to him. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, homie, he, 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 ain't, he ain't got the kind of spirit on him uh, that, 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 that are openly welcome uh somebody trying to breathe life into him uh and 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 give him some good game so yeah 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 so because you missed that interview did you it was was it one of them things where you kind of didn't want to sit down with him a little bit or uh uh no nigga, uh my phone went dead <laughs> and yeah yeah then i just said fuck it uh yeah, you know how a nigga be getting into it with it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's how I, yeah, that's just how I, yeah, man. Oh, uh, them women can fuck up some shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, they can yeah, they yeah, they yeah, they'll put a nigga fire out. But yeah, now nah, nigga, uh, uh yeah, now nah, nigga getting into it with the old, you know, me and the old lady were going back and forth. Uh phone went dead, you calling, man, yeah, man, fuck that interview. <laughs> um. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't, homie, because uh uh, homie, he ain't, man, uh, nigga, he ain't, he done miss what God got for him. Nigga, that nigga supposed to be big, homie. And that nigga talented, homie, he got talent. Uh, he done lost the charisma he had. He used to be a charismatic little nigga, homie. Uh, could, did great interviews. But now he look like the old angry prison nigga that want to bully everybody. He want to take everything to punching. And nigga, folks was mad as hell on that interview. Like, let's talk about it. That's why I had said, like, damn. Even though time had done passed since that interview, uh, shit been being said, probably sneak this and that. I think somebody has said, I don't know if it's true or not, but I think somebody has said on my shit, like, Sauce Walker basically said some shit. Oh, yeah, you heard it. He ain't finna just let that shit go. Um, But from that, the beginning when he first got out to that shit, his ass was so fucking turned that. He was ready to just punch in the first nigga that he seen that looked at him wrong, bro. Uh, nigga, uh, the strongest nigga ain't the nigga with the muscles. The strongest nigga is the nigga that can use his mind. He want to go, he, he want to revert everything back to punching. Uh, and he got a talent and he got a gift, homie, that, 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 that'll make room for him if he tap back into that. So yeah, I was disappointed, homie. Uh. Nigga, uh, I used to secretly be a fan of the little nigga at the same time. Couldn't stand his little ass. But I kept up with him. I watched everything he did. Uh, because I was I was impressed and fascinated by his talents and, and his charisma uh, to mesmerize and captivate the youth and the audience and the crowd. Uh, yeah, now he like OG person, you know, nigga, the old has been nigga talking that tough guy penitentiary talk. Uh, got one foot in the streets, one foot out. Uh, throwing rocks at the penitentiary, uh, and shit, homie, he falling by the wayside. But he gonna be a hell of a nigga in the streets. But that don't mean nothing ten years from now. Mm. Being it all a hell starts of a nigga in the streets ten years from now ain't gonna mean shit. It all starts with accountability. Yeah, it all starts with that.
yeah, looking in the I mirror. Yeah, seem angry and bitter right now. Yeah, and I I feel like um I don't blame Sauce. And I told Yayo this too, and Yayo got a little upset with me in the interview. I don't blame Sauce for not wanting to fight him. Me neither. I done turned down a bunch of niggas trying to fight me. Nigga, what I'm going to put for one, you going to make a bag if I agree to this. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to put money in your pockets if I fight you. Not only that, nigga, I put you back up on my level. Type I shit. give you action at dethroning me and putting money in your pocket, and I'm giving you the spotlight. And nah, homie, we ain't cool like that. Hell no. Nah. I want to fight a nigga I'm cool with. And him saying no, just simply, I'm not fighting you, nigga. Gonna make making yeah your skin boil like bitch. <laughs> Fuck this bitch ain't need me. He gonna fight me. Da, 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 da. So while he over there woofing and hollering this shit, Sauce just up there laughing like nigga I'm up here with this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't gotta get that rape too. I wanna fight a nigga. I had. I wanna fight a nigga. I don't have no problem with. He like me. I like him. We just doing this for entertainment. I don't right. wanna get in there and fight a nigga that really wanna fight but ain't got no motion without me. He can't get no big fight without me. Hell no. He stay over there, nigga. Hell no. <laughs> I ain't sharing my life with nobody. I don't. Oh, I so. 450. Oh, I so. He'll really, and he'll really be chicken sauce walking out of spot if he got there and did that shit, bro. Oh, my so. Why would I really want to put some money in your goddamn pocket, bro? Like he said, he wanted to fight somebody where it's going to be neutral, where they both probably going to make X amount of money, or somebody who probably above him. And then he he be like, I right, bet I'll fight this nigga because it's gonna put money in my pocket and probably give me more numbers and more publicity type shit, bro. And that's why I was telling Yayo, like, just to go back and focus on the music. You can entertain without crashing out. Oh, uh, look man, at Rallo. Rallo's uh, all over the internet right now. Oh, uh, man, you heard what Rallo said. Me and him was it, me and him were together. Nigga walked out the store. And said, hey, what's up, Rollo, man? Man, you the realest nigga, woo, woo, woo. Then the nigga saw me and went crazy. Hey, man, let me get a picture. <laughs> nigga, that, nigga, that Rollo couldn't understand that. <laughs> nigga, you don't, but you don't want a picture with the realest nigga you just said on earth? But you go take a picture with the nigga that's playing snitch, troll. So, homie, once I realized, homie, the streets is dead, nigga. Fuck you trying to come be street on the internet for, nigga. Why you think... Woody is so embraced by the community, homie. He quit playing street and they accepted him as a snitch because the streets don't matter on the internet. Just have you some charisma. Be able to make some people laugh. Be able to entertain. Homie, you can abandon street life by just coming on the internet trying to be something other than being street. Way longer career. So yeah, now nah, homie, uh, when I heard that nigga say, it's gonna take the federal government to stop me. Can't nothing stop me. Uh, that's what only they Trump. He said only Trump could stop him. Uh, uh, Trump ain't thinking about him. The federal government is. Trump ain't thinking about no nigga like him. Trump thinking about uh, the Russian president and the Ukrainian president, but the federal government paying attention to him. I mean, well, Yayo, Yayo did say the streets aren't a myth. The streets are very real. I don't know if you've seen the whole interview, um, but he did say the streets are very real. And we have to stop saying the streets are a myth because real things do happen in the streets. The streets are a myth. He says we got to stop saying that the streets are real. Yeah, yeah, he's still he's still getting high on syrup, ain't he? I, I don't know. I think so. Uh, I think I see him drink a lot. But listen, the streets are a myth. Uh, niggas is go tell on you. So you're not fit to do nothing in the streets that ain't nobody go tell on. It used to be, nigga, you do something in the streets and it stayed in the streets. That's a myth. It don't stay in the streets. If the go streets, to the internet if, now. If, if, if the streets aren't a myth, then why he not staying in the streets? Why he running back to the internet talking this street shit? Why he showing up on CJ Casino block, going live, letting the people know he overheard with the propensity and the potential of violence over in CJ Casino neighborhood on C If the streets ain't a myth, why you going live doing this then? You don't, come on now. The internet is real. The streets is fake. <laughs> because everybody coming to the internet to be real now. Niggas ain't keeping this shit real in the streets. 
Cut off them cameras if the streets ain't no myth. And don't let the internet know what's going on in the streets. Because normally square people don't know what's going on in the streets. I don't know what's going on in the streets, my nigga, if these niggas didn't bring it to the internet. I'm not a street person. I don't know who beefing. I don't know what's going on. So if the street's not a myth, how do us regular people know what's going on in the streets? Like, why do niggas be wanting to make that shit so aware? Like, I want, I want the two, though, like, on some real shit. Like, a nigga, let's just say Yayo, for example, um, and he went to folks hood. He could have recorded that shit. Well, not even just recorded. He could have just made a call and said that he was in the folks hood. Sent some pictures to folks personally or his camp or something. You know what I'm saying? Or since it's 2024, a video. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't finna just talk about that shit and say some, do some shit like that, boy. Why do you niggas want to go live all the time? Why do y'all want to uh, post pictures with this, with the switches and shit? And like, why do we gotta know this shit, bro? Why is this so like that shit? Like y'all niggas be want so much validation as street niggas and shit. And that shit don't do nothing but get y'all ass caught up, bro. So nah, homie, he just talking. He want the streets to be real. Because that's where he done found himself laying it over on this side with the street niggas. Trying to keep it real, nigga. But it looked like he's suffering. It looked like he having a hard time. It looked like he got a lot of consequences and repercussions. And he ain't never happy. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, I don't seem like he never happy, my nigga. So uh, I, I would beg to differ. After what Lil Woody did and YSL and all of that, the streets ain't real, my nigga. That shit made up. Because everything happened in the streets comes straight to the internet, homie, as soon as it happened. And street people don't put their business out like that. I like Yayo, man. I, I feel I like if Ye if Yayo gets his mind right, I feel like he could still do something. It ain't his mind, it's his heart. Mm. It ain't his mind, my nigga. I've been, I, man, I, man, listen. You don't think it's a mental thing with him? No, nigga, I think heart, it's all mental. Uh, Homie, your heart. Your heart, homie. What's in your heart, homie? The shit in your heart is what shapes your mind. Your mind end up conditioning the heart by thoughts. Renew your mind every day. Nigga, you can recondition the heart. But nigga, your heart is, man, nigga, your heart, man. Beyond the original orange chicken. Folks, folks do get like them. I'm just going off that interview, bro. And I can just feel that's him just on the daily. Like his ass want blood from... From nigga, that's that nigga heart. He angry, homie. He ain't forgave somebody. He's still holding on to something. So, uh, man, a contaminated heart poisons the mind. A poisoned mind contaminates the heart. They, they damn near in sync. But if you work on your heart, homie, if you get what's in your heart that ain't right out, homie, you can transform your mind. You can think better. But I got to cleanse this first. I got to cleanse this first to try to get this out. I can't start her. It starts her. I forgive me. Man, I forgive mama. I forgive men. I forgive who done wronged me. That's where it starts in the heart. Mm. So, yeah, no, nah, man, uh, I, I, I love the little nigga, homie. Uh, I've been fascinated with him ever since I went and told on him. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> man, I don't give a fuck what it sounds like. I told on his little leg. Got him kicked up out of them goddamn school. Uh, and I'm proud of it. One of my best achievements in life, I think. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, man, uh, I've been fascinated with that little nigga, homie, ever since I heard he turned down that deal with QCP back then. And I didn't know who QC them was, who P them was. And I recently asked P about that. And he remembered the little nigga. Yeah, I actually asked P about that. Uh... So yeah, nah, man, I'm fascinated by that little nigga, homie. I, I, yeah, I secretly watch him. He don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah I secretly watch the little nigga. I don't know if you watched the whole interview, but he said that you got your formula from him. Uh, uh, man, I ain't got a motherfucker thing <laughs> with a little nigga like him. <laughs> that nigga ain't never tried to play snitch. I came playing snitch, and I tell, call the police. I I reported the niggas from his side of town, the, the Four Tray Gangster Street, Harvest Street Crip. Oh my God. How I get anybody formula, and I come from an angry, broke nigga saying I call the police. I didn't have a formula, my nigga. 
And then, nigga, I went into comedy. So what formula he left for me? And he don't even understand content creation. He don't even understand. He don't even I, well, Sean might say, but I want to know the reasons. Like, why? Why folks think that shit, though? He don't even understand the algorithm. So what formula that he left that he can't pick up and do what I'm doing? Because my formula working. He was like, <laughs> so why would I take a formula that didn't even work for him? His formula ended up in jail on a high-speed chase mocking the police. They got him some more charges. So his formula didn't work. He got a mathematical formula that's gonna have you in negative 100. Nigga, I got a mathematical formula that adds value. I'm a international brand now. No, that's just so funny though, cause he was saying like, I'm, you know, I fuck with him and shit. Like he intrigued by this little nigga bro, but. Now you said that, you got me fucked up, bro. With product to sell, what formula did he leave for me to take? Now, I don't like that little nigga no more. <laughs> little dumb motherfucker ain't got nothing. He ain't got no game for me to follow. <laughs> nigga, you a gang-related little nigga. Hood fame? You oh a hood my nigga. God. Hood baby nigga. <sighs> With a whole mama. I, nigga, fuck me. Nigga, my mama wasn't no hoe. Nigga, my mama retired I, from General Motors, nigga. I you, think he meant by just going against everybody, going he, against the brand. Who he went against? Nigga, I went against the streets. I went against gang members. I went against him. Who he went against? Other than the niggas he was cool with. Who did, who have he- Charleston, folks. All the niggas said was he, I don't know how, well, obviously he probably didn't hear it either because he would have been smoke on that. But bro, the niggas say that you just got a style. You came back with it. And his mama a oh, hoe. It's crazy, bro. He went against other than the niggas he cool with. He was fighting. I'm conversating. Big difference. See, conversation rule my nation, not hands. Now, I come with conversation, little homie. You can't think how I can think. Nigga, you dropped out of school, remember? Nigga, I went to pre-law school. No, I heard no, Yayo no, was. No, no, no. I heard Yayo was pretty smart, though. I no, heard he Yayo was pretty smart. smart. Yayo was dumb, nigga, because if he, nah, was smart, he, was he in... took the deal with QC. <laughs> he, he was in advanced classes uh, in school. Man, in, in elementary. Were you a driver for Amazon? Amazon hey. is a cute. What the fuck, bro? That shit just switched. Bro. He didn't make it to ninth grade. I think. I think. When Zach got killed, he, he wasn't in school, nigga. Freshman year. Ninth grade. How smart can a nigga be in ninth grade in Fort Worth ISD? How f***ing advanced can a nigga be in Fort Worth ISD when only 37% of the kids can... Nigga, you can't... Nigga, Fort Worth ain't even got advanced. Everybody dumb in Fort Worth ISD. Nobody have ever graduated from Fort Worth ISD and became a doctor. How the f*** he advanced? And he wasn't even going to school at 15. I know the story. Sean, His cousin was... Sean tried to push that shit, bro. Zach, who got killed... Daddy is my cousin, Lord Jackson. Renee Jackson is grandmama. <laughs> Lord was smart. Nigga, Lord went to Nolan. How this little nigga smart and he only made it to the ninth grade and he a high school dropout, was at home with a dead cousin sipping syrup. How he smart? What books he done read? Advanced it, it, class. It's a lot of smart people who make dumb decisions. No, man, no, it ain't. They recover from their dumb decisions. He ain't recovered. Smart people recover from dumb decisions. They call them stepping stones. He ain't recovered from now dumb decisions. So, man, man, don't tell me about nigga, nigga, tell me about a kid in Frisco and in, in, in South Carl. What don't tell South me about Lake, now South Lake Carl. Fort Worth ISD. Mansfield ISD, yeah, Grand Perry ISD, uh, Lancaster ISD, but nigga don't tell me shit about a DISD or Fort Worth ISD advanced class. Most of them niggas don't. But I'm saying what formula have he left for any one of us to look at and say, man, I'm going to take the go yeah, your formula. Nigga, I didn't start out going against people. I started out speaking from my heart about the black community and people start fucking with me online. And I started saying Crippin' Blood. He ain't never said that. And I started with his hood. Crab ass niggas, slob ass. I started with his hood. And he ain't even from the hood, nigga. See, grandmama and them live over there. Nigga claim they grandmama neighborhood, nigga. 
ain't from no motherfucking hood, nigga. All you nigga were homeboys who fell out. Now look at Yo, why you turn this nigga up like this? You bro? washed up ass local rapper. Nigga, you ain't been nowhere, nigga. You fought you being a soldier boy house, drinking up his serve, nigga, when you couldn't afford it. That's the farthest you done been in life, nigga. What formula you done left, nigga? I done put down game, nigga. I done left the formula for a nigga to follow. And every nigga associated with me done paid me and booked for me, platform done went up. Nigga book him, platform go down. Nigga ain't got no winning formula, nigga. Gang-related little boy. I'm gang. You gang. That's the difference. You ain't left no gang for me to follow, nigga. Follow no bitch-ass nigga talking no hood talk, nigga. You nigga sip, serve, and gamble, nigga. You can't walk in the bank and get no goddamn money. Can't buy your woman no house, nigga. You ain't got no motherfucking house in your name. He nigga, pops. I got three motherfucking houses in my name, nigga, he locally. <laughs> nigga better shut up talking to me, nigga. You ain't got no goddamn game for me to follow, you little stupid-ass little boy, convict, nigga. I ain't never been to prison. Fuck I'm gonna follow you for, retarded fool. Hey, man. I done got mad in the motherfucker. Thinking the little boy, thinking he can teach me something. Nigga, you can't teach me a motherfucking thing. Nigga, how you mad? You just, you just said you loved him Fuck, five minutes ago. Fuck, I don't love him no more. Nigga, thinking he done taught me. Nigga, I ain't learned shit. That's what I'm saying. Folks was just saying how he, he fucked with the little nigga here in tree. But Sean should have never said that shit, bro. From a retard. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. Ninth grade drop out. Nigga, I done, man, fuck, man, nah. Nigga, I'm mad the motherfucker about that, Sean. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's how he feels, man. I guess man. he came home. See, that shit funny as hell, bro. Oh my god. Folks say you not finna get no fucking credit for nothing that Charles Dwight ever did, ever said, and is doing in the future. Type shit, bro. Feeling me and most niggas feelings wrong anyway. That's why they dress the way they dress. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna stop it right there, bro. I'm gonna stop it right there, bro. That shit was just funny as hell. He took Charleston from zero to a hundred and ten, bro. Oh my god, bro. That's why I said, why would Go Yayo even say that? Some shit like that, bro. And then for him to just break it down, obviously showed y'all, bro. I had nothing got nothing nothing from this nigga bro if anything i would have thought he would have said or he have said something about like fulio before like ah right, he said how fulio was like coming at this and the rappers i'm finna damn there do what niggas like fulio do and show y'all shit, shit like that a little bit bro but i don't know what the fuck may go yeah yo say that if you know bro please let me know man but uh yeah stay out the streets man the streets are sending your ass around the corner that you don't want to be sent around. You know what I'm saying? Um, Go get you some real money and do real things for your real family and your real life. Not them niggas in the streets. Not that bullshit. Fuck some ops and fuck them dumb hoes that be out here. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. And catch you on the next reaction.